Hey guys, this is a really quick video I'm making about the new Iron Maiden track that just came out. I know, uh, obviously it's really popular, um, I think, yeah it is. As I'm viewing it, it has approximately, I'll just refresh the page, 850,000 likes, so that's in one day. They released a video this morning, so that's in one day, so that's not too bad for a brand new music video. To have almost a million uh, views in one day. So yeah, this song, uh, I'm just going to quickly start off this review by saying, if I just grab my notepad, I just had a few things to have down. This song is pretty promising from the, from the get-go. The fact that it's not what we've been getting recently from Maiden, not that I don't like the recent Maiden material, I thought the Final Frontier was an alright album. I thought most of their stuff since uh, Brave New uh, World has been good, but... Especially on the last album, Final Frontier I didn't like as much as uh, the three previous albums, just because the song lengths were kind of obnoxious, and I don't know why Iron Maiden thinks they're the new fucking like prog band on the go. They shouldn't step away, as far away from what they originally were as they are now. And it's not even the sound. The sound is pretty similar to what they used to be. It's just, we don't need a ten minute song. I know on the new album they're going to have an 18 minute song, but I don't mind the length, as long as it's fresh and it's not just the same two or three riffs played over and over. I don't mind long, song, long songs, I can listen to a fucking black metal album that's just one long continuous song for an hour and a half. That doesn't get on my nerves as long as it sounds original and fresh. So we got to see now when this album comes out, hopefully it'll keep this short but sweet um, trend to it besides that 18 minute track like I previously mentioned hopefully that's long and sweet it actually has fresh riffs in it that don't just sound like fucking the same thing for 18 minutes with the same chorus same verse repeated over and over and like a 5 minute long guitar solo that's not fucking needed Iron Maiden is alright when it's, they're not trying to fucking be the new dream theater but this had as long as it keeps on this trend with five minutes on, for a five minutes pretty awesome sound song, I don't mind. But first off, I'll start with in this review. I'm gonna play, obviously play the song in the background like I do with my uh, ghost review. So yeah, if you don't want to hear it before you hear it on the video, just go check it out right quick. I'll put a link in the description. So obviously you hear it sounds pretty um, upbeat and not just like oh. We'll try to be fucking, you know, progressive and shit. It sounds like fucking Iron Maiden. It's pretty heavy and catchy. And I, first off, I'm going to mention the video. The video is great. I think the video, even though it's kind of cheesy with the anim animations, like, of Eddie traveling to the scenes, it reminds me too much of Ed Hunter for some reason. The video game, the shit video game, when he's traveling that, like, fucking cyberspace, whatever. But when he gets into the actual scenes... Like, the Donkey Kong reference, or the old, um, I can only com uh, compare it to, like, old Genesis, um, platforming games. That's really cool. Or when he gets into, like, the Mortal Kombat fighting scene. That's also cool. Or the first-person shooter scene he gets into. Like, that's cool. Eddie's cool when he's doing that shit. And all the references they have stuck in, they have early references, they have later references... It's just amazing. And when he gets to the end of the video and he busts at the arcade machine and he's just standing there, art mechanic, arcade machine's like malfunctioning. And you can see like Somewhere in Time, Dance of Death, all these like, not just like their popular shit, which I'm fucking tired of seeing popular shit. Fuck the popular shit Iron Maiden all the time. I don't want to see a billion fucking Number of Beast references. I don't want to see 5,000 fucking references. The goddamn the trooper. Fuck the trooper. I want to see shit like fucking Seven Son of the Seven Son. Fucking old school shit. Stuff off fucking killers and stuff. That's interesting to see. Which is what they, I think they basically tried to do. Even their dad modern stuff in. But most bands usually they, they like to go nostalgic and look at the really old shit. But they included a Dance of Death. Not even one of their most popular albums. So the video, in my opinion, really cool. Like I said, like one, it's like basically goes from, and it goes through the history of video games. It goes from like. NES, SNES, and like P PlayStation with the Mortal Kombat, the way that the way that looks when it's played out, and then like fucking modern generation with the first person shooter. 
All cool. All full of references. So that's the video. The song, I'm not going to say it's a great song and amazing, but it's not shabby, not too shabby, not bad at all. It's a good song. It's our Maiden. You're not going to get fucking crazy shit from our Maiden. You're not getting something extremely innovative or nothing. At this point, we know what our Maiden's been putting out. We know their shit. We know what they're putting out. That's fine. I'm not expecting a brand new, amazingly different song every time they pull it out. But... This is a good Iron Maiden. It's going to be worth a buy as, as long as it, it keeps with, oh, it, at least somewhere around this level of quality. I'll probably go out and pick up pick up the album. Well, maybe the two disc. I think there's a two disc uh, special edition kind of. Well, I might even pick that up. But from what I'm seeing, like the video, like when he's fighting the Beast from uh, Number the Beast, like in a Mortal Kombat style, that's cool. I think it makes the song even better. And I think the song, even though it's not fucking uh, Seven Son of Seven Son shit or Power Slave stuff like really amazing and just awesome I think it's still for the age of the band and what they've been through I think it's pretty good so yeah overall the, the main takeaway from this is that it looks to be now at this point that the album is going to be great I'm not going to go out on a limb and say it's going to be great 100% because I don't know but from what I've seen it's pretty good uh, you're not getting like like I said, Final Frontier, I like the album, it's just too long at times. This is not doing that. So, yeah, at this point, at this point, yeah, like I said, it's interesting. And as long as it keeps us up, like, Bruce sounds fucking amazing, the instrumentals sound amazing, the production is obviously slick and clean, but you kind of want that for an Iron Maiden album, you're not making a fucking crust punk album with fucking Iron Maiden. Like, you don't want that kind of shit quality, you want good quality. But the drums sound fine, the guitars sound fine, you know, I'm telling you, it's just generic Iron Maiden, but it's Iron Maiden. New Iron Maiden, so. And, uh, Iron Maiden is not one of my favorite bands. I'd much rather listen to Judas Priest, except half the time. But when I do listen to Iron Maiden, this is the kind of stuff I want to hear. So, just to conclude this review, the song is good. There's nothing really to deny about the song, besides the fact that I think it could be a bit more upbeat, but there are probably other, other songs that are just as good as this. So yeah, peace the fuck out guys, and thanks for watching this review. I would give this song a 72 out of 100, just because it's not um, extremely amazing, but it's still good, so 72 out of 100. So uh, thanks guys, and thanks for watching this video. I'll be talking to you later, and I'll especially see you when this album finally gets dropped. I'd say that'll be, I think that's in September 18th, I believe, 2015. So yeah, I'll see you then, guys. Talk to you later.